Namaste, this is Mekla here from Pooja's uh, Today's video is basically good news for all the anxious mothers and anxious uh, brides to be uh, and also bridegrooms but not so much of bridegrooms because it's more of the bride side you know people are more worried about their marriage. So today's video is all about uh, Manglik Dosh, how to address it, how to understand it because when people often call me they just say that they consulted some other astrologer and the astrologer said she's Manglik but uh, she wouldn't know the impact of being a Manglik and why uh, is that being highlighted first of all by an astrologer and what is it that you need to do to rectify and uh, move on because uh, just because you're a Manglik doesn't mean that you cannot get married if you want to get married definitely you can and there is a solution So let me explain to you what are the different kinds of uh, being a Manglik and what is the impact it will have on your married life and why is it an astrologer is first of all telling you that you have to get yourself checked from being a Manglik and then do the appropriate remedies. So the very first thing that uh, in a Manglik is that if your Mangal is positioned in the Lagna, the very first house, the ascendant house, what really would happen, how would it impact your married life? First thing is that if you have your Mangal in your Lagna, you will be highly, highly temperamental. And you know what will happen when one of the spouse is one of the life partner or either you or your husband, if you are temperamental, automatically you lose your peace of mind. So what happens if you are temperamental? There is no peace because you will be argumentative and uh, you may, because of your anger, you may say things or speak things which will really offend your partner. And uh, it's not just about the partner. Uh, even in the family, you will see a lot of clashes and you will be a very arrogant. So I know it will be like I'm just telling it to you point blank on your face. But I have seen so many of them and uh, that, you know, all my clients validate for me that yeah what i'm saying is correct because even before they get married even if it's love marriage i have always told them that you know you have to mend your ways because you know mangal is in your lagna and definitely you'll be very rash rude and arrogant and they agree that they are the ones who are the spoiled sport in marriage the second part is when your uh, mangal is positioned in the second house so what happens if your mangal is positioned in the second house Without any doubt, I can say that you were, your words will be so harsh, so harsh that you can really offend anybody like that and especially your spouse and your family. Your family life will be totally in turbulence because every time they say something, if there's a conversation, it will become an argument and uh, you would never agree to somebody's opinion and you would always say something. So some people I have also seen, you know, they're very good. They don't mean bad at all. But what happens is because they have Mangal in their second house, even if they say something really nice, they're often misunderstood. So people will think, you know, why is she talking like that? Or why is he talking like that? So everything will be misconstrued and, uh, you know, you'll finally feel that this is not going to work for you and this is not where you belong. So that is another reason why uh, Mangalik Dosh will impact you so much if your mangal is in your second house now what happens if your mangal is in your fourth house let's say that you know uh you get married to a very good family and you would go and you have all the comfort, you have all the luxury, more than the physical comfort and luxury, even mentally you're very comfortable and, you know, things are like so conducive. You have the best of your mother-in-law, your father-in-law and the, the children, everybody, the four, entire family loves you and still you're not happy. This is what is going to happen. You know, have you seen people where um, you yourself would have passed a few comments and you know made some judgments saying you know he has everything in life she has everything in life and still she's never happy why do you think such people are like that they may probably be manglik or they may have mangal in the fourth house so you need to check on that now moving on it's just don't think that i'm constantly saying you know you are arrogant you speak ra rash and uh, you you won't be happy it's not like that now it's time for the spouse side also so assuming your mangal is in the seventh house what is going to happen your husband will be very temperamental very rash so then uh, marriage won't work because either of you should be uh, both of you should be composed, no? Either of you, if you are rough and rude and harsh and temperamental, it's not going to happen. Unless you are highly tolerant, highly patient, you don't mind, you understand what it feels like to be dealing with a person with a lot of anger. So, that is where, you know, uh, that is very rare. 
I am telling you off late is very rare. Maybe my mother's generation or my grandmother's generation, uh, maybe I could agree to that. But nowadays nobody cares. You know, two or two, three uh, arguments happen, friction gen is generated. You want to walk out of the marriage. You know, so many calls I get, uh, just people saying I want a divorce. They don't even want to consult me to see whether uh, the planets are conducive for a divorce or whether they should wait and give it some more time. So, this is exactly what it is. So, if the seventh house mangal is there in your chart, then automatically you can say that your uh, spouse will be highly temperamental. So, you really need to um, check on whether you want to get married to somebody like that. But uh, it's not his horoscope, it's your horoscope which is indicating that your spouse will be temperamental. So, you, whether you want to get married to A or B or C that is set that your husband is going to be temperamental. So, how do you fix it? So, the only way you can fix it is by actually getting the remedy done and towards the end of this video for all these things we have remedies, I will tell you exactly what you need to do. So, coming back to Mangal being positioned in 7th house, I have already told you what is going to happen. Now, let us go to Mangal uh, being positioned in the 8th house. So, 8th house Mangal is actually 8th house is the Mangalya Sthana. So, in 8th house, if you have your Mangal being positioned there, then there is a threat to the life of your husband whom you are going to marry. So, whether it could be accidental death or uh, you know Durmaran we say basically it can happen in any way. So, even sometimes he may have suicidal tendencies also or he may just uh, you know out of anguish make some rash decisions, drive rash, um, be unsafe on the road. You know you can guess innumerable bad things that can be associated with the Mangal in 8th house. So, because it, uh, your Mangalya Sthana is at threat. So, which is why you need to get a Manglik Dosh Nivaran Puja done. So, that that is also rectified. And uh, coming back to 12th house Mangal. So, what happens in 12th house Mangal is basically uh, chances of separation is very, very high. 12th house is also pleasure you experience with your partner. What you expect from your partner will never be there for you or it is like you both will never be able to meet your expectations. This is exactly what the 12th house indicates and if Mangal in 12th house means aggression even there. There is more of aggression and lot of expectations and then uh, when things do not match you really want to move away you know that is how it is going to be. So, briefly I have told you the effects of Manglik Dosh especially if Mangal is positioned in each position which indicates a Manglik Dosh in your chart. Now, what is it that you need to do uh, for you to rectify this Manglik Dosh is basically get a Mangal Jap done. Manglik Dosh Nivaran Puja is basically where we perform 14,000 Japas of Mangal Mantra. So, it is a Vedokta Mantra which we chant and that is our priests who are uh, you know adept in this particular mantra who have attained the Siddhi, who have done it for many, many, many thousands of uh, uh, devotees who wanted to change their fortune for a better marriage and you know they have got it done and who are successfully married today and they are living up to their marriage even today. So, this is the kind of a mantra power they have. So, with those kind of priests we are going to get some pujas done for you which is basically 14,000 sankhyas of uh, japa okay for Mangal Bhagwan, Mangal Graha so that he, he calms down, he pacifies himself and he is cajoled and uh, you know he is enticed in a way that you know he doesn't disturb your married life he doesn't disturb your state of mind he doesn't disturb the spouse he doesn't um, uh, you know pose a threat to the life of your spouse all these things are taken care of with the mangal dosh nivaran and apart from this or i could say along with this we would also be doing um, <clears throat> Abhisheka for Mangal. So, this is another thing that we do. Uh, I know that you know many people do uh, Kumbha Vivaha, they go and get married to a tree, they go and get married to God. That is all the next step you could do after this Japa. But basically, without doing this Japa, um, you know, doing something else would just be a very superficial attempt to ward off Mangal Dosh. So, just get these Japas done through us, and then we would send you the prasad and then automatically you see that the blocks are released and you will automatically start getting proposals also. See sometimes even when people have Mangal Dosh there is also a delay because naturally these days nobody just gets married like that. They always want to um, see the chart and do the Ashtakuta matching and then when they are convinced that they can get married and they are going to lead a comfortable life, they would move ahead, right? So, uh, when it comes to that stage only they will say, oh my god Mangalik, so we do not want. But how is it going to change after the Japa is because Mangal's blessings will be there. So, even if you would get uh, uh, the Ashtakuta matching done and somebody would know that you are a Manglik, 
they will have a transformation in their mind they'll know that it's okay to be manglik and they should give you a fair chance so uh, if other things are conducive if they like you your family and things like that and vice versa you should also like them if everything is conducive they will ignore the fact that you're manglik this is the kind of miracles i can tell you that is going to happen with the mangal dosh nivaran puja because mangal will not play foul then because you would have already pacified him so he will encourage you to get married he will uh, give his entire um, you know wholehearted support and uh, i can say blessings okay so that you can go ahead and get married so he will make sure that you get the right proposal and then you get married and things like that but in the background you always need to remember that your temper is going to be the spoiled spot so you got to work on it all the time so you also have to be very aware of how you think what you do what you act and things like that so maybe like spiritual practices like meditation calming yourself down regular prayers pranayama through an instructor who's an adept and who will teach you properly how to go about it will really help you calm down and you know you should think before you speak so i think um, i've covered everything about mangal dosh and uh, instead of being dejected you get courage to move forward because mangal is also a planet of courage and uh, you know you should let go of your fear and just move ahead so sometimes uh, mangal will also give you this kind of fear and inhibitions about marriage so even that can be warded off and uh, once the puja is done you will see that there's some change in like some shuffling has happened and there's some change in your personality and uh, you feel more confident about um meeting people or you know going out and uh, you know actually be ready to seek a life partner for yourself uh, so if you want to book this puja through us or if you want to consult me for mangal dosh you know my number uh, which is anyway there after this video you can call me and we can take it forward from there thank you so much namaste